Hey guys, I'm just going to go over 10 essential apps or essential categories of apps that you might want to look into when you are a new Shopify merchant that can help you and your store. And yeah, let's just get right into it with number 10. Oberlo is a popular drop shipping app. I know a lot of people that use Shopify do you just use drop shippers. So this is a really popular app that's used by a lot of people that really links you up with uh, drop shipping merchants and companies that provide drop shipping. So you can choose from a lot of different products from those drop shippers and then place them into your store. Abolo has stats on all of its different products, so you can really see what customers are already buying from other stores, popular products, so you can really choose those. They're probably gonna do the best on your store, and you can see all the stats on all of the products. In the app, you can track all of the orders that go through your store and are shipped out, and you can see all of the shipping process, so you can see when a customer orders, when the drop shipper has shipped the item and all of the stages. So that's a really useful thing to, for you to keep an eye on all of the orders through your store. There's also lots of sales data and tracking within the app. So you can see all of the data, all of your profit and loss, what you're making on individual products. And you can add multiple users if there's more than one person managing your store. So definitely one to check out. There is a free version and there's also some paid options as well, just to make you aware, but a very popular app and one to check out. The next one is an automated upseller and cross-seller of products. And in an online store, this is really just an easy way to try and get your basket that the customer is buying just to increase a little bit and try and increase your sales. This app though does everything automatically with its algorithms, which is really cool. So it knows which products are popular, which SKUs go with some other products, and it does all of this with the data that it learns. So that's a really good way of automating all of your upselling and cross-selling. There is a free version and some paid versions as well, and it will automatically create pop-ups uh, for some products that you wanna cross sell. And there's a lot of different options in here, but definitely a useful app if you do just try and want to get those basket sizes a bit bigger from your customers. Sales notification, or otherwise known as sales pop. This is quite a good app that will essentially make a pop-up on your website or your shop and let a potential customer know what other customers are buying. And this has a couple of effects. The first one is that it does let the customer know that there are other people shopping and buying on your store. So it creates a little bit of trust between a potential customer and you. But it also just lets you advertise other popular products on the store, which is obviously never a bad thing. There's also a setting where you can create a pop-up when other people add items to their cart, not just buy items. And within the app, there are lots of data collection points and it will give you different graphs and show you all of the stats. So it will show you if the pop-ups are working, if people are clicking on them and then converting them into sales. You can see all of that data to see if it's working for you or not. Most of the options also are free. There is a paid option at around $4 as well. So not the most expensive. You might wanna try it out to try and increase some sales. The next one is Klaviyo, which is a marketing automation app. So in this app, you can build a lot of custom uh, campaigns. For example, email campaigns, you can send SMS messages as well. And you can really set it up exactly how you want. You can target marketing campaigns to specific customers that have specific uh, details, maybe different areas of where your customers are. You can really target them very specifically based on their details, so that's definitely a good thing. It also does integrate with a lot of other apps like a lot of uh, Facebook apps and a lot of different shipping apps as well. So you can actually offer maybe shipping discounts to various customers. There's loads of pre-built templates in here. You can actually have a free version up to 250 email customers. And then obviously you have to start paying when your business gets a bit bigger. Before we get onto the next one, if you're new around here or you haven't already, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more content like this and drop a like on the video if you are finding it useful in any way. But let's get on to the next in the list. The next one is Shop Codes and this is a really useful app. It's a QR code maker. So you can create QR codes for all of the products in your store and you can actually put them just on your store, on your uh, online store, so people can maybe scan it with their phone to pay if they want to do that. Or you can print these off as well and put them in your physical store or pretty much anywhere you want to collect money. As more and more people are spending on their phones these days and have all of their wallets and all of their cards on, for example, Apple Pay or Google Pay, QR codes are becoming really important once again, so definitely a really useful app. 
What's really good about this though is that the back end also has all the details of what people are scanning and paying for. So you know exactly what QR codes are being used, uh, what items are really popular, what people are buying and when and where. So QR codes, definitely something useful and all of the data that you collect is in the back end as well. This one's actually free as well, so no reason why you shouldn't download it and just start using these QR codes in your physical and online stores. Number six is Smile, which is a rewards and loyalty app, which is just proven to work if you offer loyalty schemes or reward schemes for existing customers, it will get them coming back. And it is far cheaper to retain a customer than it is to get a new one. So things like this are really good for trying to retain as many customers as you want and rewarding them for being loyal to you. There are email marketing features in this app as well, but you can also um, create campaigns, discount campaigns, campaigns for certain customers, rewards. You can also have referral codes that you can give to customers that they earn a reward if they refer someone to your business. There's also a VIP section here that people can sign up to. So just a really feature packed app that can definitely help increase your sales retention. And this integrates with Klaviyo and a lot of other apps as well. So a really useful app overall. Push Owl is another popular app that tries to fix the problem of abandoned carts. And I know abandoned carts are a problem for a lot. People get all the way to the end and for one reason or another, they just abandon the cart. Push Owl is an automation piece of software that can try and recover some of those abandoned carts. You can set up an email or maybe another notification based on what information they gave you and just ask the customer anything that you want. You can set up a few different emails that get sent out to try and recover that sale. You can connect this one with a lot of other apps as well, so that's definitely good. And you can also set up SMS campaigns with it. It's definitely worth a check out and there is a free option. It's free to download it, but there are some payment options as you get bigger as well. So just to keep that one in mind. Kit is a Facebook ads program, essentially. You can use it with Facebook and Instagram to automate some of the ads that you put on there and it can give you all of the data and the click-through rate of those ads. Right now, Google ads are incredibly expensive, but Facebook and Instagram ads still have a lot of different pockets that are just underpriced. And so you may wanna to look to use software like this to try and determine where has the best return on investment. Kit is actually an official Facebook marketing affiliate, so definitely a trustworthy way of just getting into those systems, seeing a lot of the click-through data and just trying to place your ads in a better way and getting a better return from the ads that you pay. It is free to install and actually they just take their commissions out of the ads that you pay. So when you do pay on Facebook ads, they will take their commission directly from that. So there are no upfront fees or monthly fees, which may be better for you depending on your situation. Number nine is order printer, which is exactly what it sounds like. It will help you print all of your order invoices, your shipping labels, and all of your receipts. And it can help you put all of your logos on there just to make everything look way more professional. It's a very simple concept, but it will make your business look way more professional just to have all these order receipts there. And obviously for you and the way that you keep orders, it's really important as well. The best part on this one is that it is completely free and actually just like Kit is actually a Shopify own app. And that leads me on to number 10. Because there are just so many apps on the Shopify ecosystem, there's basically a, another or another three or four apps to every app that I mentioned here that will do more or less the same thing. So there are lots of apps, but these will hopefully just give you an idea of essentially the type of apps that you can integrate with your site. But number 10 is really the list of the most essential apps that you need to get up and running. And number 10 is the Shopify list of apps. Shopify make a whole list of apps that really are useful and will get you up and running. With the Shopify own apps, you can get the Amazon channel, which helps you sell on Amazon. You can put uh, ads on Facebook and Instagram. There are point of sale apps if you do have a physical store. There's also email clients and buy buttons. So you can put buy buttons anywhere you want. You can add product reviews to your website as well, which is definitely important. You can manage all of your inventory too with all of the apps. So definitely if you're a new merchant and you're looking for those essential apps, the Shopify apps are the essential apps that you need. But there's a lot of other apps as well that can really just help your business out and automate things and make things much easier for you. 
But that is a list of some essential apps for Shopify for fairly new merchants. If you know of any more or better ones, just put them in the comments so that other people can see them and you can help them out as well. But yeah, I hope it helped you. That's it for now. Do subscribe if you liked it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.